Hi boys and girls! Welcome back to another Kids Sunday video. I'm Miss Christina. I'm so happy you came to join us today. And guess what? Can you tell what I have around me? I brought lots and lots of plants in with me today. Um, do you guys have a garden at home? Do you have a lot of plants? I love plants. I love house plants. I have a lot of house plants at home. Well, I brought these plants in today because it's um, kind of the same scene as our Bible story. Our Bible story today takes place in a garden, a very special garden called um, Gethsemane. And in our story, we're going to have, um, this is where our story takes place, is in the garden. So I brought all these plants here to uh, remind us of our story. But of course, our Bible story comes straight out of our Bible. And everything in the Bible is true. If you guys remember, um, the week leading up to Jesus' death on the cross was kind of like an emotional roller coaster. So, at the beginning of the week, everybody was so excited because they uh, welcomed Jesus into the town as their king in Jesus' triumphal entry. Then, Jesus was questioned, uh, but he answered with wisdom and knowledge. And then, um, last week, we learned about the Last Supper when Jesus ate his last meal with his friends. Um, and this week, we're going to learn, um, in, in last week too, we learned that Jesus told them to remember his sacrifice. Um, and that's where we pick up this week. So this week's story is called, Jesus Was Arrested. So we're going to learn about the time where Jesus was arrested. Uh, and it's right before he uh, was taken up to die on the cross. So, before we get into our Bible story, we need our big picture question. So let me get my question mark. All right, where's question hiding? Boop, here's question. All right, our big picture question is, what did God do, or what did Jesus do to save us? Wow, okay, so did Jesus plant lots and lots of trees? To save us? Do trees save us from anything? No, although trees are very beautiful and plants are very good for us, um, did Jesus plant things to save us? No, Jesus lived a perfect, spotless life and he died on the cross for us and he rose again from the dead, which is an amazing thing. And um, all of these things Jesus made a way for us to be declared righteous by God. And he took on our sins that we deserved on the cross by dying for us. Um, and he rose again, and it proved that he was God's son. And so um, that's, why, that's what Jesus did to save us. And so we're still kind of right before the Easter story. Um, but before we get into our Bible story, we need our listening ears. So let me find my listening ears. Here they are. Ready? Boop. All right, my listening ears on, because our Bible story is next. Jesus came with his disciples to a garden called Gethsemane. He said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. Jesus took three of his disciples into the garden, and Jesus became very sad and troubled. Jesus told the three disciples to stay there, and he went a little farther. Jesus fell face down and prayed, Father, if it is possible, spare me from this, but I want to do your plan. Jesus came back and found the three disciples asleep. He asked Peter, couldn't you stay awake with me for one hour? Jesus went away and prayed a second time. Then he found his disciples sleeping again. He said, are you still asleep? Get up for it is almost time someone is going to betray me. Suddenly, Judas arrived with a large crowd carrying swords and clubs. Judas kissed Jesus so the crowd would know which man was Jesus. The men grabbed Jesus and arrested him. 
Peter pulled out his sword to fight the man, but Jesus told Peter to put away his sword. Jesus said, isn't this what God planned all along? Jesus' followers ran away, but Peter stayed nearby to watch. The men who arrested Jesus led him to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest. The religious leaders wanted a reason to kill Jesus, but they couldn't find one. The high priest asked, Do you have anything to say? Are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, Yes, that's right. The high priest said, Aha! He has spoken against God. Caiaphas and the religious leaders did not want to believe that Jesus is God's Son. They said Jesus was lying, but Jesus was telling the truth. The crowd said, he deserves to die. They spit in Jesus' face and hit him. A servant saw Peter and asked, aren't you one of Jesus' disciples? No, I'm not, Peter said. Twice more, as Peter watched what was happening to Jesus, someone asked him if he was a follower of Jesus. Peter lied, no he said, I don't even know him. The next morning, the religious leaders decided how they would kill Jesus. Then they took him to Pilate, the governor. Jesus knew that his death was God's plan to save people from sin. Jesus' friends turned against him and he was arrested and put on trial. But Jesus followed his father's plan in order to bring salvation to the world. Hi, boys and girls. Guess what? I am in a special place today. Can you tell? Yeah, I'm in a fancy garden. Do you see above me? I'm going to show you. Above me, there's beautiful trees. And it's very peaceful in this garden. And on the sides, look, there's even creatures. There's a deer over there. And I'll show you on this side. There's animals here too. Do you guys think this was how the garden was where Jesus went to pray? in our Bible story today. It's a pretty peaceful place. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about our Bible story in a special garden. Okay. So have you guys ever known the right thing to do, but been afraid to do it? Yeah, in a way, that's how Jesus felt in our Bible story today. He prayed in the garden uh, that night that he was arrested and Jesus knew God's plan and he wanted to obey and by obeying God's plan it meant that he would be hurt and made fun of and spit on and killed. Jesus asked God for another way, another plan, uh, but he was committed to God's plan. Even in the middle of this difficult time, Jesus put God's glory in front and above his own feelings. And when men led Judas to arrest Jesus, he didn't fight back. He didn't even let Peter fight back. Remember, Jesus allowed his enemies to arrest him. So, the Jewish scriptures explain how to have a trial if you were arrested or if you thought somebody had broken the law. And uh, the religious leaders, they threw all of those rules out. They didn't care about fairness or justice. They just wanted Jesus to die. And what they didn't know was God was using their evil plans to work out a wonderful plan. The Old Testament is filled with stories that are hard, scary, and sometimes sad situations happen to a lot of people. Each and every time God uses his, um, God uses those sad things to do something beautiful and amazing and glorious. In um, the story of Job, God used suffering to show his power and his sovereignty. And God used Joseph's slavery, if you remember, to save his whole family from a famine. 
God used Esther's forced marriage to protect his people from um, Haman. And now God was preparing the saddest and most unfair thing ever to make a way for us to be saved. So as I think about the quiet, peaceful garden that I'm in right now, do you see how peaceful it is? There's lots of creatures in this garden and the trees are beautiful. I kind of wonder if, um, if Jesus's garden was this way. Um, I know that it's not warm out right now, but in the summer when there is a nice garden outside, I also like to go to my garden to pray. Um, and so Jesus knew that his death was God's plan to save people from their sins. Jesus' friends um, turned against him, and he was arrested and put on trial. But Jesus followed his father's uh, plan perfectly in order to bring salvation for me and for you and for the whole entire world. That's amazing that um, Jesus had the courage to do those things. So this week, I know you won't be going outside into a beautiful garden, but I want you to think of a quiet place you can go to think about the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. Um, and let's just thank God and thank Jesus for the amazing gift that he has given us uh, when he did die on the cross for us. All right, guys, have fun with your memory verse. Hi, boys and girls. It's Bonnie the Bunny. Hi, Papa. I'm going to do your memory verse with you, remember? Yeah, all right. It goes, he, meaning Jesus, humbled himself, push, by becoming obedient, push, to the point of death. I'm going to push away, even death on the cross. Put your arms up on the cross. Philippians 2.8. All right, let's do it again. Ready? He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death. Even death on a cross. Philippians 2.8. Good job, guys. Okay, let's talk about what that means this week and a Bible story. Remember from our Bible story, Jesus was in the garden praying. And he prayed to God and he asked God to spare him from what was coming. But Jesus told his father that he wanted to do his plan. And this is what our key pas passage is talking about when it says he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death even death on a cross. Jesus didn't want to get hurt, and he didn't want to die, but because he knew it was God's plan, he was obedient. He didn't have to allow um, the people to arrest him. Jesus could have stopped all of that from happening. He could have stopped Judas and the soldiers and the religious leaders, but he didn't. And that's what Jesus did to humble himself. And he did it to save us from our sins. And that's an amazing story. I hope you guys had fun learning our memory verse this week. Time to do the bunny hop dance. Hop, hop, hop. Do you remember from our Bible story, um, there was a special garden, the Garden of Gethsemane. It had that funny name. Well, today's craft, we're going to do something that reminds us of a garden. Um, so, I will show you what it is. It looks like a little garden gate. See? And on the gate, it says, watch and pray. Do you remember what Jesus told his friends while they were in the garden? He told them to watch and pray. So, I can't get it to stand. So that is what our craft is gonna be. So to make this craft, you're gonna need some things. Uh, you're gonna need popsicle sticks um, or any kind of sticks. 
And you're also going to need um, some crayons or markers to color your sticks if they aren't colored already. Uh, and then I used fancy pipe cleaners, um, one pipe cleaner, or if you don't have that, you can get uh, a piece of string. And in my craft, I also had some googly eyes. So if you have any googly eyes, um, you can use googly eyes in your craft. I also used a marker. You can use a pen and a glue or a hot glue gun. And then I also had on hand some um, stickers that resembled flowers and some animals. There's some little frogs on these stickers. Um, so animals that would be found in a garden. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your craft sticks. Um, and if you don't, <laughs> my craft sticks are crazy. Um, if you don't have craft sticks, you can also substitute um, just paper. You can make this craft out of paper as well. So you can cut paper into strips or you can use your craft sticks. Um, and so you're going to lay out your craft sticks. You're going to use three or four. You're going to place them down on your surface. And then you're going to take the glue and you're going to put glue on your sticks. And you will glue your sticks so that they make the shape. And I had um, four across the, the way and then three up and down. So I had seven all together. And you glue them together, and if you look on the back, I glued all of mine like this. Um, you glue them together, and then you write the words watch at the top and in the middle and pray at the bottom. And I put my googly eyes next to the word watch. And I also added, if you can see, some flowers and a little buzzy bee. Then I took my pipe cleaner, or you can take your string, and I fixed it on the back of my gate and I can use this to hang on my bedroom door or hang it off of a place that I will see it to remind me to watch and pray. So Jesus asked his friends to watch and pray. So um, he asked them that because they were his friends and they were with him in the garden. Um, and I just want to encourage you guys this week to think about a friend that you might have that you can pray for. So um, I'm sure we all have friends that we can use uh, to pray for. But there's also something else we can do. Um, Jesus laid his life down for us and died on the cross for our sins. Do you guys think that you can come up with a way that you could display your love for people by laying down um, yourself for them? Hmm, for example, I mean like, what if somebody needed help carrying in the groceries? You can give up your time by helping them and you can show them your love by offering yourself to give up yourself to help them. There's other ways that you can um, show others that you love them by giving up something. So that's just one idea. Um, you can show the love of Jesus by doing lots of things. So I hope that you guys can think of a fun way to um, show your love for others this week. Okay, before we go, um, we're always, we always say our prayer, so our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to God just now. Dear God, thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you, God, for um, humbling yourself and becoming obedient and listening to your Father um, when he asked you to do something very hard. And Lord, I just uh, pray for everybody that's listening um, that we would remember the sacrifice that you've done, Lord, and um, think of ways that we can sacrifice our time and ourselves to show um, love towards others like you showed love towards us. Uh, we love you, Lord, and thank you for this day. Amen. Okay, guys, it was great to see you this, this day, and I hope you have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.